So when I first heard uh, about the upcoming A-Wing for the Star Wars X-Wing miniatures game, I knew that I was going to have to do a repaint because uh, there is a painting that Ralph McQuarrie did uh, early in the design process for this ship that shows it in a blue color scheme that is absolutely wonderful. And I really wanted to be able to have a ship in that color. Um, and I probably could just repaint over the top of this existing paint. It's not bad. Um, and it doesn't look too thick. But the details are so fine that um, I really want to strip it down. And so far, I haven't seen anybody demonstrate the best way to do this. So I'm kind of experimenting, um, both for myself and for you, uh, so that you can see what happens when you strip these things. <laughs> Uh, so let's talk about what we're going to use. All right, this is Windsor Newton Brush Cleaner and Restore, um, and I use it on particularly troublesome brushes uh, when I really need to get the paint out of them. And it's essentially a paint remover, and since it's non-toxic and biodegradable and water-soluble, uh, I've always found it to be kind of a nicer thing to use than uh, you know, acetone or other really harsh chemicals. And I've also discovered that it can work pretty well for uh, removing paint from models, uh, especially plastic models, where you don't want to damage the underlying, underlying plastic. But it is interesting to note that it specifically says not recommended for painted or varnished sur surfaces, polycarbonate, or plastic surfaces. So, um, you'd think that it would damage the plastic and anytime you're working with something that you don't know what the what the material is made of that's always a possibility but that's what I'm gonna be doing so uh, I just have a little bit in this cup here uh, this is one of my paint mixing cups and I'm just gonna drop it right down in there uh, and then I have a really old brush that I'm gonna use to work the uh, brush cleaner over the paint and we'll see if this has any effect on the paint whatsoever because it's not a super caustic um, paint remover it may take a little while before we see any results we're just gonna have to wait and see Um, this stuff is very oily, by the way, so uh, once you get it on to a surface, it's going to stay there until you wash it off. So what I'm going to do, I think, is brush it over the entire surface, and then I'm going to let it sit for a while and let it, uh, let it work its way in. I'm sorry, this doesn't make for great video, but I really wanted to just give you a sense of, of exactly what I was doing. So the paint is not just falling off, um, as it sometimes does, but I can see it. I can see sort of clouds of, uh, of paint coming up in the, in the liquid. Uh, so it is coming off. There we go. So if you want to look. Right there, you can see the reds already starting to fall off. And I'm wondering if uh, the underlying color isn't just white. That would seem to make the most sense. Perhaps they just uh, weathered right over the plastic uh, where it's supposed to be gray. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this one, by the way, this was a trade that I got. Um, for a buddy of mine who also got one of the A-Wings at the Kessel Run. And his actually looked like it had one less um, paint step done to it, like a little bit less weathering. And so I traded with him because he liked the paint on mine better, and I knew that I was just going to be taking the paint off. So.
Alright, we're going to come back to this. I'm going to let it sit. So as you can see, uh, the stripping process has been more or less successful. There's uh, still a bit of stuff left in the uh, panels, panel lines. I suppose if I was really concerned about it, I could go in with this toothpick and uh, knock those out. But I don't think I am that concerned about it. Um, the canopy was probably the hardest part to get the paint off of. Um, I really had to work it with the brush to get it off. I'm not sure why. Except that, there, well, there was two coats of paint. There was the red underneath and then black on top of that. And I don't know why, but black always seems to be a... Uh, uh, tougher color to remove when you're doing paint removal and uh, yeah so otherwise um, I'm pretty happy with the final results here and um, now I think I can start prepping this thing for paint and that's it this is just going to be a little quick video to show what can be done by the way you'll note that the white plastic looks like it's probably polystyrene, which is the same thing that uh, uh, most of the uh, like Warhammer 40,000, Warhammer Fantasy miniatures made out of. Uh, a lot of toys are made out of the same material. Um, so anything that you would use to strip paint off of uh, plastic models, you should be able to use just fine with this. Now, of course, my method was Winsor Newton uh, brush cleaner and restorer, but I imagine you could probably use simple green or brake fluid or you know any of those other methods to do this just fine. But since I haven't tested those methods, I don't know that for sure. I'm just I'm just saying that that's a possibility. And that's it for now. And I'll talk to you later.